Okay. But London is out of step with most of the rest of the country, with recent polling showing that there was a re if there was a referendum today, there would be a 66% vote to remain. Now, Jessica Yore went along to a public debate this week to check out the political mood here in the capital. London, a Remain stronghold in the referendum. Recent polling suggests that support for remaining in the EU has increased since then, but there's still a significant minority for leaving the capital who want their voices to be heard. Brexit will be good for London was a challenging motion argued at the London Brexit debate this week, with the government divided over the Chequers Agreement and support building for a second referendum. Feelings are divided in the city. In June of 2016, 60% of the people that voted in London were in favour of Remain. Now, with less than 200 days to go, how exactly have feelings changed in the capital? I think a no-deal Brexit would bring a lot of benefits, many more benefits, than actually continuing to shackle ourselves to European Union law and regulation for years to come. And London is part of the United Kingdom, and we can only join or leave the European Union uh, as the United Kingdom, so London will be going uh, with the flow. I think the great thing is that London has the adaptability and skills and, uh, and vitality to be able to respond to that, which it does, clearly. One of the most creative cities in the world. Well, Brexit is not good for London. I shall be arguing the case strongly against. You've only got to see day in, day out what's in the news. Brexit is bad for London, bad for London's economy, and ultimately bad for the UK. We need free movement of people. We need it for our economy. The jobs in the city are already going. They can't get the skilled workforce. They're moving jobs to other cities in Europe so they can continue to trade. And that's only just the start. In, out, deal or no deal. Many argue the ongoing uncertainty is having an effect. And this week, a think tank has pushed London from the top spot of its global financial centres list.